Hi and welcome back. In our today's video, we will continue our project schedule in Microsoft Project. In this video, we will focus on creating a project schedule baseline and assigning WBS code to our activities. Before we set a baseline for our project schedule, we will assign a WBS code. Even if you don't have a WBS code, you can go to Format and from there you can click on Outline Number. As you can see, for different activities at different hierarchical levels of the WBS, their codes will be assigned. In case you wanted a user-defined WBS code, you can do that as well in Microsoft Project. I will undo this. To define a WBS code, go to Project, click on WBS, Define Code. In here, you can assign characters, letters, and numbers to different levels of hierarchy in your WBS. For example, number one in here, I want to see uppercase letters. And for number two, which are these activities at the hierarchical level, from here, we will define numbers. For the third level in WBS, we will also assign numbers. But in case you are interested, and it was your project requirement to assign anything else, for example, let's say lower cases, as you can see in here, it will be previewed as a lower case. But we will select number for that as well. Click OK. Now in here, right click and insert column. For the column, we will write down WBS. Press Enter. The WBS codes will be displayed here. Now once this is done, the next thing that you will do after assigning the resources, estimating the duration, giving leads and lags to your activities, the next thing you will do for your project in Microsoft Project is to assign a baseline. To set a baseline in the project, in the set baseline, go to set baseline. From here, different options will be given. Set baseline, you can choose any of the baselines. You will click baseline and for the entire project. If you have some selected tasks and you want to assign a baseline only for them, you will click the selected tasks. In here, you will select the entire project and click OK. The baseline will be added. But how to see that? Come to tab. From here, you will click on tracking end. In addition, if you want to see the percentage completed and assign any different percentages completed for your activities, from here, you can right-click, insert the column, and select Percentage Completed. Now, if you update the percentage completed, as you can see, it will be shown in here as well. I will undo this. Moreover, when you baseline your project schedule, you will add the baseline start and the baseline finish. Baseline start and the baseline finish. In addition to that, you can add the baseline cost and in here we will add the actual cost. Now, if you wanted me to measure different things in your project schedule, the actual cost, the earned value and everything, you can add these columns and cl click on the entire project. So in here, you have the actual start, the actual finish, the baseline start, the baseline finish. Now, if I go here and change this actual start, for example, to another date, let's go to 6th of July and we will click OK. As you can see, the baseline will stay in its place and our original start date will move to another date. In our next videos, we will focus on creating different types of reports of the schedule. If you found the content of this video informative, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video for more content like this. Thank you very much for watching.